I don't think Valerie Pritchett rode over to Camp Curtin Academy in a $473,000 vehicle, probably one of, those, uh, one of those great Jeeps or Subarus or something we have here at the station. She is enjoying National Night Out over there at Camp, Camp Curtin in Harrisburg. My friend Valerie, how are you? Hey, everything is going great, Seth. I am in what's called a bite suit. We're going to do a canine demonstration in just a little bit. But let's show you what's going on behind us. National night out here. They started technically at 630, but people came early because they just wanted to get out and have a good time. There are vendors out here, nonprofits, free milkshakes, free food, free events, and you get to see demonstrations. So we are going to do a canine demonstration. I am here with Sergeant Ty Mike and his canine Czar. And so I am already in the suit. So we're going to hand this microphone over to the other canine handler. And he's going to have Officer Mike tell us a little bit about what we're doing. OK, what we're going to be doing is uh, basically what we call the contro controlled aggression. And I'm basically going to go ahead. Obviously, he already knows what he's doing. Um, so and we're going to give you some canine warnings that we normally do. And then when you don't surrender, we're going to go ahead and uh, make you a mention at that point. All right, so I'm going to get ready, Seth. And I'm just going to walk out and stand, right? Yes. OK. All right, thank you, canine officer. All right, here we go. Good. Good, boy. Good, boy. Good, boy. Good 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 boy. Out. Oh, yeah. Stay. Nice. Stay. Nice. And then I'll get the microphone back. Stay. Stay. Come. Good boy. So that's how it happens if there is, uh, an, if they have to go and after somebody or a suspect, so they do train for this. But again, here we are, and I'll tell you, Seth. This suit is hot. I think I lost about 10 pounds just standing here. Valerie, you, you answered the first question I was about to ask you. I, I apologies, we had a little bit of uh, some audio trouble there, but the, the visuals here are what mattered. I have never been as captivated by a live shot as I was by this one just now. What, can you see when, when the dog is biting you? I mean, how, how do, you, do you feel it at all? Can you tell that there's... No. No. So you can't feel it. You can feel the pressure. But this suit is so thick, as you can see, you don't really feel anything. Um, but the dogs are, you know, trained to do this work. And he, you know, did what he needed to do. And now he's back going to his vehicle to do a little chilling. Oh, there's... So Seth had a... Seth was talking about our, our, our controlled apprehension. Okay. Yeah, basically what you could see is, you know, once I explain to the dog it was time to release the dog eventually releases and then goes into the position and waits for the next command yeah and he did it right because you know what i'm still standing <laughs> send it back to you you notice he didn't knock me over either still standing better than you ever did <laughs> valerie thank you so much for that and